One of the latest apps to take the social networking scene by storm is Posters. The premise is that it enables you to create your own website full of blog posts, photos, videos, geotags, and other happenings you deem worth sharing and then blast them across any and all social media accounts using uh, the computer counterpart posterist.com. It's a one-stop shop for the socially savvy, so let's check it out. Posters is super easy to use. All you need to do is set up an account either through the app or online, and once you have a site set up, um, or multiple, you can manage however many you want uh, simultaneously. All you need to do is press post and create the title and the body of your post, add geotags and privacy settings and other tags, uh, even images and videos, and send it off, and it automatically updates to your site, and for example, this is one that I created earlier. And once you have a post created, you can view, uh, view, publish, or delete. And in viewing it, you can open it up in Safari using this button, see who's commented. Um, you can use the full site to view it if you want to be able to leave a comment or share it on Facebook and Twitter. And although the site is not as extensive as the uh, web counterpart, it does enable some flexibility. And, um, but if you do want to post your, uh, what you publish on other social networking media, you do need to um, auto post it using the website. So, you know, if you want to share things beyond email or Facebook, you do need to go onto the website so that you can configure auto post. Posters is certainly useful for a lot of things like sharing moment to moment thoughts or uploading videos and photos for all to see or uh, making sure your social image is up to date. However, the fact that you can only create and uh, create posts and sites through the app really hinders it because it would be so much better if you could share everything on the go and um, access others' poster sites without having to rely on your computer to do that. And also, I know the website enables you to customize your site, um, and give it special backgrounds and stuff like that, and you can't even you know, access these options through the app, which kind of kills the purpose of it being a mobile counterpart. And you know, furthermore, while the auto post is good and it makes sure that everything you post to posters will go out across all mediums, some posts may be, you know, more specifically tailored for email blasts or Facebook posts or Twitter updates. So it would be nice to also have the option to select specific sites to post your posters uh, updates to. Um, so while I think the posters app has a certainly a great foundation, uh, especially based on its website, counterpart, I do think it has a lot of catching up to do to bring it to the caliber that posters.com is. But I do think uh, it is a really worthwhile app to have, and I really look forward to seeing how it improves and changes social media in the future. So get posting on Posters. For more apps and reviews, check out iPhoneApplicationList.com.